Oh, right. we got some! Three keepers. So, ganito pala yung process. May mga haula dito. You just throw them into the ocean in random spots. You just search out in the sea for where he left them yesterday. Hey, whoa, that's a nice one. Hello. <laughs> So, we got 25 alimango. Not too shabby. Whew. Solid. Yeah, I'm hungry too. I'm gonna go home and cook some crab up. Now, if you follow my main channel, many of you already know the whole story of when we were Merchant Marines, and I also mentioned it, Ganina. But, it's one of the best vlog school that I have of all time. I literally think it's my top five vlogs, is the vlog where we go and sail out on the old uh, World War II uh, Liberty ships. Liberty ship, the Jeremiah O'Brien. Yeah. So I'll link that below. There you can find out the whole story of my experience, you know, as a 16-year-old kid. I thought I a merchant marine. That's what I thought I'd do for the rest of my life. Because I was in the yeah. Um, I ended up, you know, just making silly YouTube videos, which isn't half bad, but uh, hey, it all worked out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're making more money as a making silly videos than you would be riding ships, <laughs> which I highly recommend. You're doing the right thing. Either way. Ang goal ko is gusto ko lang mag travel, and I would have been able to do that um, within either job. So, but again, link below. I think it's vlog 450 and 451. It's a two-part series. It is uh, one of my best vlogs. Also, shout out sa mga ibang tropa kong OFWs, mga merchant marines, mga nasa cruise ships. There's a lot of cool vloggers out there working on boats. I know Chief McCoy blew up. There's another one. Kalimutan ko yung pangalan pero. Maybe he'll comment below and uh, I'll pin one of his comments, so. Hey, hey, Mr. Mais. Hello, kong sa? Kong sa sa? Tito corn dog. Sha ang king of corny. I used to cook corn, so I'm a little bit corny. Hi. How are you? Hi, How are you? Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Flying. So this is uh, our first podcast going down. It is the jankiest thing ever. Look, we got Mike here. That's where Dylan is. That's me. We have the mic here. Here is a GoPro for Haley. She got this. Janky is the wrong word. It's scrappy. Scrappy. It's scrappy. <laughs> we'll figure out if the lighting's right. Yeah, because growing up, you and your brother are kind Zach of opposite. Zach was like the performer. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And you were like the one you that was too, always competing in. You too, though. I remember you and Zach would be like singing and stuff in front of everyone. Like, you did like all that dance. Oh, my God. Did you remember that? <laughs> So for the past few months, I've been working on a podcast that is all about health, fitness, nutrition, biohacking, and basically everything geared towards self-development. From the products I use to my daily routines to what I eat, this podcast will go into detail on how I myself optimize my life and everything I've come across that's helped me keep remain focused, motivated, and geared towards success. Now this is the serious and real side of me, the most personal and introspective form of Will Dasevich, which you got to see a lot more of on my main channel, which I um, upload less frequently on. So the thing is, um, the majority of you guys, many of my viewers, follow my vlogs simply because you're entertained by them. But there's also a chunk of my viewers who followed me way before because of my advice that I would give when it comes to health, both mental and physical, and basically just overall health. And if you're someone who initially started my vlogs because it gave you motivation, or you found it informative, or you learned something new that helped you in your day-to-day -day life, then this podcast is specifically for you. 
And as informative as this podcast is gonna be, it's also gonna be a lot of fun because you're gonna get to listen to deeper stories, um, not only about myself, but also the people around me who I find inspirational and very knowledgeable. You know, my mom, dad, Nico Bolsico, Erwan, Selene, Kong TV. We're gonna have a ton of interesting guests with insightful conversations, and I promise you that you will definitely learn from this type of content, and it will impact your life in a positive way. Stay tuned. Back to the vlog. <sighs> you caught 25, you saved me. Two. Ah, but look at the size of these two. <laughs> They're huge. Look at the size of these boys. Look at that beast. That's bigger than your head. I'm gonna crack him for Will. <laughs> look at these, look at these, man. Wait, does that mean I have to do it for you again? No, I'll do it, Mom. Like I always do. Look at the size of these claws, bro. I'm gonna have to help you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to. Are you gonna be able to eat all this? I was gone the last couple of days and my dad gave all the crabs away to all his friends. That's right. <laughs> Is that how you do it? You karate yeah, chop it? No, you know, here's, there here's has to be an easier way. Unfortunately, you get all that. You can't. You right. can't eat this here in the United States because it has a doic acid, and that's not really good for humans. Pero in the Philippines. What? The Bahamam Filipinos eat that. That's my favorite. Lahat ng mga Pinoy. Oh, kikain nila yung yellow part of the crab. Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> She's roasting you. Oh. To me? Yeah. Why is she roasting me? I'm only saying what the government said. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh my God, you're political. <laughs> sure. You're, you're crab political. Sure. Crab mentality. No crab mentality, <laughs> mom. Yeah. Crab politics. That's what I have. Crab mentality, no. I would eat the crab, oh the inner God, of the crab because hilarious. I have crab mentality. You know what, Will? I saved you the best. You saved me too. No, I saved you. You know, you're, you're belly aching to all your fans about me giving the my friends eating the crabs. I saved the best for you because you're my son. Oh, shh. Wow. Eddie Wow. <laughs> What's Eddie Wow? <laughs> What's Eddie Wow? Eddie Wow. That is hard. Please comment below what is Eddie Wow. You know, you know, Eddie Wow. Eddie Wow. I know. I know that. box. Okay, by the way, Will, your crab's ready. Okay. You know what crab is in Tagalog? No, I don't. Ali mango. Ali mango. Yeah. Ali mango. Ali mango. Ali mango. Is that a Visayan accent? Which accent is that? Mom's accent. Ali mango. Oh, oh, Ali mango. See, I made some clams. Oh wow, are those Manila clams? Yeah. Are they from Manila Bay? No, they're from Seattle. They're from Seattle. Oh. Why are they called Manila clams? Because that's the only thing Americans know how to call clams because they don't know any better on the West Coast. Because Manila clams are famous. Do they do they actually have good clams in Manila from Manila, like Manila clams? Or no? I can neither confirm nor deny what kind of clams they have in Manila, but I can only tell you what the, about the Manila clams from Seattle in California. Are you just scared to get roasted if you say something bad about the Manila? Oh. No, because I'm roastless. Is it the same as you know Manila clams? What about why do they call the folder Manila folder? What? What's that? Uh, uh, it's, I, I think I it's, never heard of I, that. I, I thought Manila folder was due to the, to the color of it. By the way, this is your cracked crab, Will, for you, my son. Because <laughs> your mom's going to crack this crab, by the way, too. Of course. I'm a Filipino anak. You are such a Filipino boy. <laughs> There's a little bit of Kano in you. Yeah, just a little bit. You better... Mom, yeah, okay, mom, this better, is up to you. Me, you better listen to me then. If you're a Filipino boy, you listen to me because Filipino boy, they listen to their mom, so they listen to me. Always listen to me. Wow. You guys missed this. We had a whole episode on my Instagram about this already. My sister was all upset because my mom cracks crap for me when my sister just does it herself. She likes doing it herself, but she just gets jealous that my mom cracks it for me because it guy. No, the 30 years old ako. My mom's still cracks cap for me ever since nung bata pa ako. I posted this on Instagram and I got a flood of comments of everyone saying my mom still cracks crap for me, even 40 year olds. It's true. Yeah, she doesn't crack my crab or peel my shrimp anymore. You don't ask her to though, if you asked her to. It's to be expected when you married a Filipina. <laughs>
My dad was roasting me too, oh, that I'm she's so still cracking for me. That I'm useless. So all dads say that about their sons. Come on, right dads? Hey, Comment below dads. Every once in a while you gotta give your son a you know, move him. Who else is going to? Mom? Mom roast me all day, 24 hours. Number one cup, Ang patangan yung mga bata, Ah, I know, but you know what? Roasting, roasting is love, love baby. No one else gonna love you. Isn't, like isn't I roasting do. love, though, Charles? No one else will love you like I do, not even your father. Oh my god, what? Why did what? you drag me into that, Charles? <laughs> Where's my beer, Christine? Did you drink it? You're drinking beer all of a sudden? Did you drink beer? My beer? No, I'm drinking wine and now no, and, half and of vodka the beer. And, and bourbon. I don't drink. You stole her no, beer. No, what is it? Cause no, I put the beer in there because I put half of it on oh, the. Oh, you clams. just forgot where you put it, huh? That's okay. I'll find it for you. I'll himay himay your crap. Ah, oh, you put it Thank on you the put. door. Mommy <laughs> <laughs> forgot you put it on the door. Yeah. Oh my God, you're getting no. old. You're getting old, mom. Always. You always forget things. Tatay mo nilagay niya sa door tapos sabi niya nil. Nakadindi ko alam ko sa kung nilagay na ko. What? Sabi niya pa. Oh my God, that was. Why you don't understand? That was like machine gun. That was machine gun. Why you don't understand what I'm talking about? No, I was cooking. Mm -hmm. It sounded like the chicken coop. I don't know how to put it on my own. Anak, you want vinegar? Yeah, vinegar in Old Bay. Get it yourself. I don't know how to put it on my own. In fairness, mom, I don't have a story. What? No, I don't have a story. I don't have a story. Huh? That makes sense. Basta, ako naghuli ng mga crab, tsaka bumili ako ng license para <laughs> hindi, manghuli ng crab. Hindi ka hindi walang kwenta. Ibig mo sabihin, meron kang pakinabang sa buhay. Yun, I have a pakinagabang. Oh, may huh? pakinabang ka. So, may pakinagabang ako. So, I catch the crab, you peel it. Ganon. Oh, diba? Ganun. Wala kong kwenta. <laughs> Tama ba, Pudra? Okay. Sa yeah, whatever you say, kid. Are you kidding me? You're eating crabs! No! You gotta eat crabs. You only leave me two, and now you're eating my crabs. Dad's rule. All right, tapos na oras na para ako magi magenjoy na mga alimang ko. Hindi kita ginising baka mo ko baka mo ko si gawan pag ginising. Wow, this is so good. See you guys on the next vlog. I think the cool part about crab fishing or crabbing, whatever you call it. My setup to get on the ocean, be in nature. That's always fun. Two, good time to bond. For the most part, sitting around in a, in a boat's not my favorite thing, but if it was quick, we, we made it pretty quick. You get some good food out of it. I definitely recommend it. Go on trips with your parents. Do stuff you've never done before. That's what this vlog's all about. See hey, on the next one. Vlog your parents. What? Vlog your parents. Hang out with your parents, yeah. yeah do that vlog too. them too, because they're funny. Yeah. Listen to your parents all the time. There you go. Babush. <laughs>
You guys see these editing glasses I always wear. We got them. Um, we got a few of them. They are from Miss Stress Drillone from Peculiar Eyewear. Follow me on Instagram. Comment on my latest post with that emoji and uh, we'll send a bunch of these out. We have a ton. If you want to purchase them, you can try clicking the link below and using my old code. I don't know if it still works, but hey, try it out. These are anti blue light glasses. So repels that, I don't know, bad light from your computer screens and phones. That's what I'm told. I wear them. Why not? They kind of look nice too. All right. See you guys on the next vlog. My mom's merch that she drew and designed herself that is available probably only for uh, another another week left because it's almost Christmas. See you guys on the next vlog. Man, yo, I've been editing all night. I feel like a zombie and uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Blah, blah, blah. See you guys on the next vlog.